Welcome back. Surprising results from a new study found that cell phone usage could have an impact on fertility. It's one of the only indicators that modern technology could have unseen negative effects on our bodies. <laughs> Joining us today is Dr. Parviz Kavusi, a re reproductive urologist from St. David, South Austin. Thank you so much for being here this afternoon. Thanks for having me. Wow, this is um, kind of eye-opening. Uh, it, it was a very interesting study that was done recently. And what it is is a meta-analysis. So it's taken data from 10 previous studies and put them together to try to make sense of the data. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and what they wanted to look at was, are cell phones affecting a man's fertility? Because there's been a lot of uh, contradictory evidence out there on both sides. Right. What this study showed is it had over 1,400 men in it. And when they took the data from these previous studies, they showed that it is affecting men by knocking down sperm's motility, mm -hmm. their ability to swim, and uh, the viability, or which one of those are really alive and going to be able to do a good job at fertilize the egg. Right. This study was published, by the way, in the journal Environmental International, and, um, and cell phones, not the only some other stuff in our daily lives that could also have an impact. You bet. So there are an awful lot of environmental exposures that we're looking more into to try to see if they're affecting a man's fertility because mm -hmm. we see that men are getting less fertile overall in the United States. Our population is getting less fertile. So things like laptops, um, things like uh, phthalates that are in plastics that are all around us. Mm -hmm. Now we know cell phones are having some detrimental effect because they're electromagnetic radiation emission. Um, we've known heat effects, hot tubs, warm baths, saunas, but we're wondering about more dietary effects because we're seeing that the American male population is getting less fertile over time. Yeah, I mean, you, you know, you used to hear about, you know, microwaves possibly having a negative effect or cell phones next to the brain. What, what kind of impact yeah. did that have on the brain? And now this is interesting about infertility and, as you mentioned, affecting the mobility of a sperm, not necessarily the count. Correct, yeah. So there was a lot of, uh, of evidence that was showing some effect from sperm, whether it was the DNA damage from these cell phones making them not as good at fertilizing the egg mm -hmm. or their mobility, but there's been very little data actually shows decrease in counts. So it looks like the radiation that's being emitted mostly affects function more than numbers. Right. So what, I mean, obviously um, this would really impact your daily life if you were to give up your cell phone, if you're trying to have a baby, uh, you know, what do you recommend to people yeah. out there? So as most men in the United States walk around with a cell phone in their front pocket, mm -hmm. that's a lot of exposure to the reproductive organs. So we think this is going to mainly affect guys that are kind of on the borderline of fertility. If a man has perfect fertility, the level of decrease in these parameters was low enough it may not significantly affect that. Right. But if a guy is borderline, it might knock him down low enough that it matters. So if a couple is having time, the best answer is keep the cell phone out of the front pocket where it's going to give the most radiation effect to the testicular function. Mm -hmm. And always, of course, consult a doctor. Yeah. Certainly. Dr. Parviz Kavusi from St. David, South Austin, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks for having me. All right. We'll be right back.